He's back. We were talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. We can't hear you. Damn. You. Okay, damn. I apologize, guys. I'm sorry about that. It's just that I lost the... Uh, I know. I lost internet connection. Oh, I'm going in and out. I may need to turn my camera off because I don't have a good connection right now. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. Uh, so you were talking about me. Hopefully, you were talking some. You were saying something nice about yeah. me. I hope. I hope that. <laughs> Tell me that you were saying something nice. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> There's an urban legend that you are going to invite us when the curse end and that you're going to invite us something to eat sure <laughs> let's go eat pupusa. yeah i can invite you let's go yes <laughs> that'll be awesome that'll be great yeah you guys are doing a good job so i think that you guys deserve it you guys deserve some yeah. good pupusa. And final and final pay, uh, payment is coming what is this aguinaldo is no, oh, that's the first Christmas bonus. Christmas, Christmas bonus. bonus. Christmas, that's a, Christmas that's a... no, it's not Christmas. Uh, Christmas Aguinaldo is Aguinaldo. Aguinaldo. And it's the first 12 days on December. <laughs> you have a bonus, in, right? In the United States, they call the Christmas bonus because they don't have Aguinaldo. Ah, mm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think that is the, uh, the word that we can use in order to relate it to, the, to what we want to say. Aguinaldo. But you're, but you're right. Aguinaldo is Aguinaldo. Because yeah, it Aguinaldo. doesn't exist in the United States. Uh -huh. They don't, they don't receive an Christmas extra pay. Bonus. Now, sometimes Christmas bonus. But mm -hmm. that's why I say that. Mm -hmm. What is Aguinaldo? <laughs> we are waiting for him. Yes. Yeah, you, I was uh, looking into that. And it says the term Aguinaldo refers to an annual Christmas bonus that businesses in Mexico are required by mm -hmm. law to pay to their employees. It's a Christmas bonus. Yes. Okay. Yes. We'll right. Um, How do you say the la palabra que más se acerca? The related word? Because it doesn't exist in the United States. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's true. It's like when we say, I mean, we say tortillas in English. I mean, we yes. don't have a word for that. They say tortillas. Mm -hmm. Tortillas or piñata. A piñata. Exactly. <laughs> Have you guys heard that before? It sounds funny, right? But yeah. Or no, tacos. Español, muy bueno. Tacos. Yes, taco. Pupusas. Burrito. Yes. That is. And are you going to I have think that, that in some years. The Spanish will we will be the main language in the United States because okay. there are many Latinos there. That's and true. every every year most of the Latinos they have better jobs there and they are preparing. So I think that Spanish will be yeah, the main language there. Yeah. Yeah. That Karen is wanted to say Karen wanted to say something, but I think that we kept interrupting her so maybe karen now you can go ahead i was asking you if you are going to have a christmas party a christmas well, party i know that jacqueline and i we will have it but uh, i'm not sure about the others um well in my case yes i mean i like to party guys <laughs> so yes i'm having a christmas party of course Absolutely. From the company. Uh, yes, I think that probably the company will do something. Uh, I mean, not English Corporativo, but the other company that, mm -hmm. that I work for, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then I will just uh, celebrate with my family and that kind of things. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. In our case, uh, we were uh, we received an email that it, that they were saying about we are going to have a. Um, Christmas party, but it would be a, it will be related to uh, LED using LED lights. 
Oh, um, LED light? Say... LED? Yes, but it says like, um, uh, even in Spanish, no me acuerdo la palabra. Like that uh, festival luces. that is like a lot of lights and I don't remember how it's the name. Yes, kind of that. The last year they celebrate our Christmas party in the Real Intercontinental, Intercontinental in the nearby ah, the Metro Centro. Uh -huh. Where the <laughs> company that, that has that lost, that lost, <laughs> the guy who... In concent at Concentrics. Uh-huh. It was, it is really interesting and crazy, those kind of parties they, they have for us. But I'm thinking about this year, I don't want to go, I don't want to be there, but because it's kind of extreme, can I say extreme? extreme? I don't know. But, ex Extreme or extreme? Oh, extreme. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but this year we, we don't know where it's going to be celebrated. I see, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember that before the pandemic, uh, we would go and celebrate like a Christmas party with my company. And it was really nice. There were a lot of people. There was uh, music. There was also... Uh, well, there were drinks like alcohol and sodas, and there was food, a lot of food. Uh, I was, uh, I was to the, I, I mean, I used to go to the party, especially for food, for the food, because I, I like, I love to eat. Uh, I love that. I mean, <laughs> that's what I like the most. And everybody would have like this, uh, like dress, uh, like really fancy, like. Uh, girls would have like a really nice dress and then guys would have like a suit and all that that kind of things and it was really fun but then the pandemic happened and then we didn't do it anymore because of that because i mean everybody was locked down uh quarantine because of the pandemic so and i haven't had a christmas party with a company uh since 2018 i, I think it's been a long time it's been a long time. So, well, uh, anyways, guys, I uh, want to present you the topic that we have for today. Uh, we have discussed a lot of things and we haven't even started the topic that we have for today. So um, I will try to do the best that I can because right now, like I mentioned, I don't have still any electricity in my house. Uh, so I'm using my laptop. And hopefully I can complete the class, hopefully, because I don't want you guys, uh, I don't I don't want to make you guys uh, connect to the class at a different time. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. So let me see here. Bueno, ayer nos quedamos en la parte del pasado continuo contra el pasado simple, okay? Si ustedes se acuerdan, Solamente una recapitulación breve para que podamos estar 100% seguros de esto. Uh, excuse me, guys. So yesterday we were saying that we have the like this timeline, and then we have the past, we have the present, and the future, right? So we had an action, action number one, that started in the past, and it was uh, happening from a point in the past to a second point in the past, right? And then uh, we had a second action that interrupted that action number one that was in progress. So that is what we uh, were talking about yesterday. So this would be the past continuous, okay? Something in the past going on, right? And then the simple past is just an action, something that happened in the past and finished, okay? That is the reason why we just have a cross here, like a blue cross. Uh, so we had some examples, like in this case, while divers were working, creo que si era, off the coast of Florida, they aquí creo que era, found a shipwreck, right? So they were doing something when something else happened. Right? So that's what we learned yesterday. 
And then we had some examples here. Like in this case, we have, uh, I'm sorry, we have a knowledge check. He says, excuse me, it says, uh, complete the news story using the past continuous and the simple past. Use the verbs given. It says, while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. Okay. Entonces acá vamos a poner nosotros nada más la parte que hace falta. Eh, y acá, bueno, es, uh, they uh, discovered a shipwreck. Aquí está, esta parte, bueno, no sé por qué está como repetido, pero, ajá, básicamente eso sería poner la, el verbo que se ha, ha sido dado en la forma correcta. Dijimos que, por lo general, cuando tengamos while o as, por lo general, después va a ir seguido de el pasado continuo, como en este caso, while divers were working. And then uh, we have the second action, they discovered in past, the simple past, a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. Vamos a ver. Luego, guys, eh, esa es la parte que estuvimos viendo ayer. Luego tenemos la siguiente lección. So it says, in this class, you will learn how to develop skills in listening for details, uh, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. Okay, so basically, guys, what we are going to do next, we are going to listen to this, uh, uh, the audio of this video, and we are going to take notes, okay? Basically, you guys need to, need to tell me what they say in the video. That's what we need to do, okay? So, <clears throat> bueno, vamos a poner este video. Eh, dura como dos minutos nada más. Son como tres historias de las noticias, entonces quiero que ustedes lo escuchen, tomen notas, por favor. Así que ahorita preparémonos, tomemos ahí eh, tal vez un cuaderno o algo para que ustedes puedan anotarlo. Vamos a escucharlo y quiero que tomen notas para que después me puedan decir qué es lo que dicen en este video, ¿ok? So, let's go. Let's go, guys. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you. So, here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll develop skills in listening for details, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. <laughs> Okay, very funny, right? I liked it. It's like the first one was fun. When they... So, right, guys, uh, I think pro probably we need to listen to it one more time because they were going very fast. So let me just go back and uh, play the video for you again. Town on the northeast coast. Two teenage girls who disappeared... ...and put it around his... ...on Sunday the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. 
It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Right, so I think that that is number one, guys. Let's go one by one. I think that that's going to make things easier. So what can you tell me about number one? It was in Thailand. It was a manjuri by say it was on Sunday, and that's all I understood. Okay, very good. Yes, very good. Thank you, Walter. Uh -huh. Who else? Anybody else? Um, a man uh, found a snake right at uh, the uh, side of the road and. Uh, he put the snake around his neck and the snake started to squeeze him. Very good. Very, very good, Jacqueline. That is correct. Very good. That is what happened. He was a little dumb, I guess. <laughs> because, I mean, that's too dangerous. I, I don't know. I, I don't think that somebody, a uh, sane person would do that. I don't think so. So he was insane. Yeah, so he put a neck I'm uh, sorry, he put a um, serpent uh, around his neck and this the snake, I'm sorry, the snake, that's the word, the snake started to squeeze him more and more. But they said that fortunately, he was able to get uh, the snake off uh, his neck on time, right? Se la pudo quitar a tiempo, okay? Eh, esa es una expresión bien, eh, bastante buena que, bueno, me imagino que ustedes tal vez la conocen y si no, pues por acá se la voy a poner. Uh, like to get something or someone off of you. Ok. Eso sería como quitarse de encima algo. Si ustedes le quieren decir a alguien, quítate de encima de mí. Por lo general, si lo ven en las películas, en las series y todo eso, lo dicen así como get off of me. Es, quítate encima de mí. ¿Ok? Entonces, en este caso es lo que dice también. Él pudo quitársela de encima porque la, la andaba ahí en el cuello y la estaba apretando. ¿Ok? Squeeze es apretar. Para los que no lo sabían, squeeze es apretar. ¿Ok? Right? Anybody else, guys? Anybody wants to say something else? Anything else? Are we good? Ok, good. Let's continue. Let's go to the next one. Okay? Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Oh my goodness. Vamos a escucharlo otra vez, otra vez más, guys. Tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Bye. Por quedarse dormidas. So what happened in this case, guys? What can you tell me about that? Number two. What happened? Vamos a ver, Karen. Maybe Karen can tell us something or... Evelyn or Blanca. Dinora. Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. it, oh. it was um, in Australia. Uh, um, the news mm -hmm. talk about how uh, two teenager girls. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
Yeah, they disappear. Okay. They disappear. Yes. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good, Dinora. So then, uh, they okay. said something that they had to walk four days, uh, to get to the nearest town, right? Okay. Very good. Thank you, Dinora. I appreciate that. Thank you. Right. So. Perfect. Bueno, ahí estamos. Vamos a ir. Eh... Vamos con el último, entonces. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was, this one was really fun. Several days. This, was, this was one really funny, right? Uh, it seems like this was a bad, good person, right? I don't know. <laughs> so what can you tell me about this one, guys? What was this one about? This one was about a thief, right? Vamos a ver. Ya se fueron quizás Karen. Josué. Luis Saldane sí. wants to participate. Oh, Luis, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, teacher. No, sorry. I apologize, Luis. I, I, I'm really sorry. Truly sorry. I was going down, so I couldn't see you. That, go ahead. Go ahead, Luis. No, Thank it you. doesn't matter. Okay, and thank you, Karen. Uh, Jacqueline, sorry. Uh, on this audio, I think that uh, that a thief, that as you said, mm -hmm. was chased by two police officers mm -hmm. uh, while they drove into a river. Very but good. then he helped him, uh, helped them to get out the uh, get out of the river, mm -hmm. and all the charges that he has were uh, like absolved because Drop. of his good action. Dropped. They, they oh, dropped. That's the word. The dropped. Right. There they you dropped go. the charges. Okay. okay. Excellent job, Luis. Very good. Thank you so much. That was perfect. So yes, uh, this was a thief. Okay, a thief. It's kind of hard to pronounce the word because uh, we have the th sound there. So it's a thief, right? Like this thief. Okay. Uh, un ladrón. It was a thief, a car thief. Uh, the police officers were chasing the thief. Uh, they dropped into the river, just like Luis said. And then the thief came back uh, to help the police officers uh, get out of the river, right? So they dropped all the charges. Okay, they dropped the charges. There we go. Okay, so that's another interesting word, right? to drop the charges, okay? Terminología legal también, guys. Vamos a ver. Luego por acá. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Oh, I see. It's okay. It's okay. No worry. No worries. All right, guys. So there we go. We have these uh, four audio programs that we listened to. That was the part regarding to this uh, news broadcast. This was just a little listening exercise. Like, uh, I told you before, like I mentioned before, we have to practice like all these things, like reading, listening, speaking, all of that, right? All of this is important for us. So uh, that was that was it for that part. Now we can move on to the next part, guys. Uh, we have lesson objective, and we have 4.7. It says, by the end of this lesson, you will learn to use the past perfect tense. Okay, so we have a new topic, which is the past perfect tense. So I think that we are going to have just a little introduction to this topic because we are almost out of time and I'm running out of battery right now. My computer is about to die, guys. So I think that we may get disconnected at any time. So if that happens, I apologize beforehand because like I mentioned before, uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, I'm having some technical difficulties, guys. So I, I apologize. 
Well, let me just uh, present you this uh, topic really quick. And then I think that that's going to be it. That's going to be it for today. Because like I mentioned before, uh, I'm almost out of battery right now. So we have the past perfect tense. So the past perfect tense is a verb form used to refer to a past action that occurred before another past action, okay? That's what it is. So uh, how do we form the past perfect tense? We do it by using the word had, which is the past of have, along with the past participle of the main verb. Like in this case, I had run. Um, and all verbs in the past perfect tense take this form regardless of the subject. Like in this case, as you see here, we have a third person, like we have she in this case, and it's going to be the same, right? She had, I had, so we had. All of them have the same structure. This verb is going to be the same for all of them, uh, regardless if it is a third person, if it is a first person or whatever, it's going to be the same. So that's basically what it is. The past perfect tense is something that we use so we can talk about an action that occurred uh, before another past action. Vaya. <clears throat> Creo que ya por aquí nos vamos a ir quedando, guys, porque eh, ya casi se me acaba la batería. Y no sé si voy a tener, eh, si voy a tener algún problema con la grabación, porque tengo que, eh, que procesar la grabación después de que termine la clase. Entonces, quizás por ahora, aunque nos falten como tres minutitos, ya creo que vamos a ir terminando. Eh, por acá tenemos, solamente les quería mostrar las formas del pasado perfecto. Eh, tenemos acá positivo, affirmative, then we have negative, then we have... Uh, questions or interrogative and we have I had eaten then I hadn't eaten uh, had I eaten so basically it's just going to be excuse me guys uh, so it's going to be just the subject then had which is going to be the same for all all of the uh, different pronouns in this case and then we have uh, the negative form which can be contracted like in this case I hadn't or it can be I had not Okay, I had not. And then uh, when it comes to questions, we are just going to change the order just like we've been doing with all the different tenses, right? Like in this case, we put had at the beginning, had I eaten, and that's going to be like a yes, no question, right? Okay, vamos a ver. Eh, bueno, mañana vamos a terminar. Creo que mejor así lo vamos a dejar. Eh, porque como les digo, ya casi se me acaba la batería. Entonces mejor vamos a dejarlo por aquí. So I'm sorry about that, guys. I apologize. It's just that uh, electricity has not come back yet. I don't know why. So I apologize for that. So I, I don't know if you guys have any questions about uh, the, the class for today or anything that you guys would like to say. No questions. All right. So guys, uh, thank you so much for coming again. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Remember that we just have our class tomorrow, uh, Thursday, and then we have uh, we are free on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then we have our uh, final four classes next week, right? So let's keep up the good work. Thank you guys for coming, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.